Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install iPad OS on your iPad 20, 2018 6th generation. So, as you can see, we are going to settings. Here is settings. Go to general. You can see about this is the uh, iPad 6th generation as version 12.3 so what you're going to do now is uh, go to your safari and go to beta.apple.com and then you'll see this site and now you're going to choose what devices you have it's either Mac OS or iOS or your iPhone, iPad OS for your iPad, your TB OS for your TB. Now I'm missing the iPad, so I choose iPad OS. So, and then you scroll up, and then you'll see get how to get started. The Apple Beta program is now available for iPad. If you're a new member, please enroll your iPad. Click enroll iPad and then it says here you have to archive your ba or back up your device and then on the second section you'll see install profile you click this button down here download profile click this one and then pop-ups appear this website is trying to download configuration profile do you want to allow this yes hit allow and then profile downloaded as you can see then you hit close then you go back to your settings go to general swipe up and as you can see here the profile click profile and then this is the downloaded profile I iOS 13 and iPad OS 13 beta software or public beta so this will allow you to install the beta public beta for iPad OS and then as you can see here you can remove download profile or you can install this so uh, so what uh, what we're going to do now is install it because that's what we want and then we have here more details you can see here and then we have to ins click install and then you have to put your code I'll put my code and then and the message will appear iPad OS and etc and then you see it install install and then we we'll pop up for install profile click install and then restart required okay now let's restart and then we will wait so after this you have to wait for a minute it's, it's going to download I don't know how long it will take but of course for your iPhone for your iPad it's the same story you can do as the, the same instruction And we go to settings and then we hit we go into settings and then software update as you can see here we have the iPad OS 13 public beta and the size is 3.22 gigabytes so you have you need some space for your device and then download and install and then you have to put your code okay You have to download the the size of the download is 3.22 gigabyte so you have you need some space for your device so it says here about 36 minutes remaining so you have to be on your Wi-Fi then software update will appear iPad OS 13 click install now and then it will verify your iPad verifying update 
You have to wait. Do not touch everything. Do not touch anything. If you want to be successful for your install, then to restart and go to the boot menu. Wait for a second or a minute or an hour. And then it's finished. Now it's finished. We have to put our pin. And as you can see, updated complete. Your iPad was successfully updated. There's just more steps to follow, and then you're finished. Then click continue. And the iPad analytics to help improve the product services for you to continue. App Analytics Design App for App Developers I Don't share For me I don't like to share it As you can see now we have your, you have to choose which uh, appearance do you want Select dark or a light appearance to see how it depends on you So I will try the dark dark theme And we will appear as dark then we continue Welcome to your iPad Get it started And now we go to settings and let's see what's happening. Oh, now we have the dark mode and about software. We have the third iPad software version 13 as you can see here. We have the iPad software version 13. And now and that's it. You are in the iPad OS. As you can see here, you have your widgets. And all the icons, it, it, took, it looks a little bit smaller now. Let's try the Safari. If we open Safari now and we go to some site like the uh, YouTube, and the YouTube will, will appear on the desktop mode, as you can see. Before, if you open YouTube, it's always on the it's always on the mobile, and now everything is on a. Uh, a desktop mode okay and so that's it guys thank you for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please share my video and see you on to the next one after we review this thing so thank you very much guys peace